Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I am super excited, as always, about today's show. I have a super wonderful guest, mm. but I guess I should say who I am first. I am Sister Modupwe. This is a Sister Modupwe Raw Vegan Soul Food Show, and as you know, we talk about things that are good for your whole body and soul here. I have everything from food, music, culture, relaxation, exercise, everything that feeds you 360 degrees because remember you're a very multi-dimensional being, right? So today's show, oh, I love this sister. <laughs> We've got special guest Bonnie, Bonnie spelled B-A-H-N-I as unique spelling, as unique spelling as she is. And Bonnie Turpin is the original visionary of Sola Food Co-op. That's right, you say, oh, Sola, Sola. Hmm, I haven't heard of that food co-op. Is it in LA? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Bonnie wanted to see a co-op on the south side of LA. That's right, everybody's welcome to come, but we need something on this side of town where we don't have to run to, to the beach or Hollywood or all over the place looking for foods that are really good for us. So after purchasing a home in South LA, Bonnie is like, Wow, I still got to run all the way to Hollywood or somewhere to, to find foods that I want to eat that I know are good and wholesome for me. So she said, wait a minute, I see a need. And that's the kind of person I love. They don't just see a need and say, oh, that would be nice if somebody or somehow we had this thing fulfilled. So she has been working, fundraising, spreading the word. She's got a board of directors. I mean, this is the rocks. You hear me? When she says <clears throat> something needs to be done and she's going to work on it, she puts <clears throat> the work in, right? So when she saw this need for a health food store in, in the South L.A. area, she got busy. So instead of just trying to lure mega corporations here like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, she said it would be so much more empowering for a solution for the community if Hey, let's put one together ourselves, right? All right. So given the residents of South L.A. the same access to healthy food choices that other parts of the city enjoy. Makes sense to me. All right. So Bonnie is uh, also an actress with many TV, television, film, and commercial, theatrical, and voiceover credits to her name. She is an ensemble member of Cornerstone Theater Company. I'm, didn't I tell you the sister rocks? Huh? <laughs> and an award-winning audio book <clears throat> narrator. That's what I said, audio book narrator. You know, one of those books you could put on your ears and drive for hours and hours and have somebody's wonderful, fabulous voice just read it to you. I did that once on a trip to New Mexico. It was so much fun. Okay, Bonnie is currently also yeah, there's more. Bonnie is currently a yoga teacher at Crenshaw Yoga and Dance. See, Bonnie is in the community, about the community. I love it. And Yoga Works, where she has taught for over 14 years. So let me introduce my wonderful, super wonderful, great friend, Bonnie Turpin. <laughs> Pronounce right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so go. much. It's great to be here well, on wonderful. the Raw Vegan Soul Food Show. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Well, tell us about your vision and, and where you're at with, with building this solar club. Well, like you mentioned, um, I moved into South L.A. in 2010 and uh, noticed that if I wanted to buy organic foods, I had to leave the neighborhood to do so. I had to go back to where I used to live in Hollywood or go to Santa Monica or Culver City mm -hmm. to be able to get those foods because the grocery stores in South LA weren't carrying organics. And uh, then um, a little bit later, they even started closing some of the grocery stores in South LA. So basically what, what the situation that we have is we have fewer grocery stores per person than other parts of Los Angeles. about We have about a third of the amount of grocery stores, wow. even just regular grocery stores, than, say, West L.A. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, uh, I got the idea of starting a co-op. 
and that idea took hold and we've been working on it for a while now okay. yeah well that's fantastic I know that myself I've been involved in, because I've only been in LA oh, maybe a little four years and I've been involved in some of the fundraisers I'm tell if you hear about a solar co-op fundraiser you better get there because they have <laughs> oh they rock you talk about a good yeah. party for a f fantastic cause it's a wonderful wonderful thing they've done some things inside they've done things outside mm -hmm. uh, she you'll see Bonnie at, at farmers markets and other fabulous green events in town and it, it's just great yeah we've, we've done some great events um, I should say our goal for the store is mm -hmm. to have a full service health food store. Uh, a lot of people get confused and they say when they hear co op and they mm -hmm. think it's about the farming of the food. And this mm -hmm. is less about farming and more about us having a health food store mm -hmm. where you can buy organic produce and products and home products and things that are healthy mm -hmm. and safe to use on your body and in your home. And uh, we also want the store to have. Uh, some eat-in capabilities, so there'll be some prepared foods and organic coffees and juices and smoothies and things like that. And mm -hmm. we really want to create a place where the community can come together and, you know, meet up with each other, do community events. We want to offer classes. Uh, some of the work that we've been doing is uh, to raise awareness in the community about the need for a co-op because you know there are people in our community who already know and who are shopping at Whole Foods and other neighborhoods yes. but there are some people in our community who some of these concepts are new to mm -hmm. and so we're just uh, working on educating the community about uh, some of the diseases that plague our community right. diabetes and mm -hmm. hypertension yes. uh, we've done workshops on nutrition on um, hypertension we did one on GMOs and we have one coming up this weekend oh, on uh, detoxification. Right. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. after the holidays, everybody <laughs> has indulged right. and been with family and eaten those traditional foods, which are delicious, but maybe not the best thing for you. And uh, like my family, we had a, a wedding in Mexico, so there was tequila involved. <laughs> <laughs> and so now it's time to, you know, to get back to, uh, you know, being clean and and give your body a break mm -hmm. from all of that abuse. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so now that you're here, we're just going to segue right on into talk <laughs> about our clean body, right? So you heard the song today, right, Car Wash, and you're like, okay, why is Sister Modupo playing car wash today? You know why? <laughs> because many of you take better care of your cars than you do your bodies. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I know, yeah, your car is quite an investment, but guess what? Your body's the only one you get to live in. Do you hear me? You know what we like to say, if you're green inside, you come inside. So it is very important in living in a highly industrialized city, country, th that you do some cleaning, right? You see all of that stuff that you have to constantly clean off of your car? Well, guess what? You are breathing it. You're breathing it 24-7. And even the water has been adulterated. The foods are not as hearty as they're supposed to be, not full of nutrients and things like that, and so many chemicals, this, that, the other thing. Even if you eat organic, your food is still exposed to things like airplane fuel residue, right? Mm. You see all those planes in the air over L.A. all the time. I've counted as many as 10 planes coming into LAX at one time up in the air. So you've got to do some detoxing. Let's look at a slide that talks a little bit about detoxing so that you can, we can all get on the same page to understand what we mean when we talk about detoxing the body. Here's a little bit that I want you to read and check out. So detoxing, you know, you hear people talk about cleansing kind of often. What, what, what does it mean, cleansing, right? I know how to wash my dishes. I know how to wash the car. When we talk about decleansing the body, it's some of the things I just mentioned. You're breathing in heavy metals from all these jet plane fuel, uh, from all these cars. You know, there's a lot of cars in L.A. And you know something I always say to people? You're not supposed to see the air you breathe. <laughs> and in L.A., we get to see the air we breathe. So it's, it's, it's uh, very important that you do do some 
internal cleansing. Don't mm -hmm. just clean outside of that car or inside of that car. Think about your body, right? So as you can see from the slide, we're talking about detoxing, it, it, uh, helping assist the organs that clean the body because they're working over time. When you can see your air, your body's working over time. It's got to filter those things out. And even things like people don't think about the fact that their, the fillings in their teeth, you know, years ago when we got all these silver metal fillings, mm -hmm. a lot of mercury. people don't know that they're mercury, right? They got mercury in them and such. Yeah, they tell you silver, do some research. They are not putting silver in your mouth. Now, unless you pay for it or get gold, and so that is constantly wearing down, and so that toxin is all through the body. Look what these people are dealing with. Where is the place in um, the ranch where the gas is? Porter Ranch. Porter Ranch. Those folks are in an area where there's tons of gas that's escaping into the air. They're breathing that. Even if they move to the motel in the next community over, we're all getting exposed to that, right? And so you need to clean that out of the body. Let's talk radiation. touch radiation, right? Look at all these devices we have around us, cell phones. You got these TVs and all these kinds of things, satellites, you know? So, and then let's talk about somebody, something nobody wants to talk about, but so many people experience and so related to the need to detox. And I'm talking about constipation. You see it up on the slide. If you're constipated, that means that what you need to clean out of the body is sitting in the body way longer than it's supposed to be. And that just adds toxins to the body. It's kind of like you're toxifying yourself over and over and over, right? So, now people are ideally are, should have a bowel movement a few times a day. That's right, not once a week, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's a big problem. But some people think that's normal. Think of how many meals you've eaten, right? Mm. That is just, whoo, let me give it to Bonnie and let her talk about her. her, her I'm not talking about my bowel. <laughs> no, she's going to talk about her, the detoxing program. <laughs> so over to you, Bonnie. Tell us about the one that you're going to be experiencing. Oh, okay. So um, we want to do a two-week cleanse. So that's what we're promoting. The workshop will be one time. It's going to be at the Baldwin Hills Library this Saturday, January 30th at 2 p.m., mm -hmm. And we'll have a nutritionist leading the workshop. And we're going to try to make it a very simple, easy, and affordable cleanse for, mm. especially for people who've never done anything like this before. That sounds great. So if you're a little bit more experienced and you want to take it to, you want to up the level, you can add uh, products like Wild Rose uh, Detox which I don't have with me, but it's a product you can buy at, at uh, Sprouts. Okay. And you can also get it online. Um, and it, uh, it has uh, supplements that you'll be taking daily to help the cleansing process. But our uh, workshop is going to talk about making juices and smoothies what? and soups that can be detoxifying for your body. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I don't have the workshop leader here to tell me exactly what he's going to do, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure he's going to say, you know, it's best to follow a plant-based diet during the cleanse. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's going to say, if possible, give up caffeine and mm -hmm. alcohol and mm -hmm. Other things like that that you know are toxic <laughs> during <laughs> during the cleanse. Right, I call those you know. anti nutrition, uh, anti nutrition, right? Because they're not adding to right. smooth and optimum functioning of the body. Uh, you know, hey, you partake, so those are choices. But you really want to make sure to bring your body back to an optimum place, mm -hmm. right? So, like you were saying, after the holidays, you know, you can't eat like you eat on the holidays all year long, right? You, we'll have to be visiting you in the hospital. Right. Right. So, so mm -hmm. go on. So we're also going to have um, uh, Tom Thomas Dale, who's leading the cleanse, is mm -hmm. also a qigong master. Mm -hmm. My, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Qigong. qigong. I think it's qigong. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're going to be offering some yoga and pranayama Fantastic. techniques to kind of help you through the cleanse. If there's you know emotional things come up, mm -hmm. there's some techniques that you can employ to help clear those out and also um, LaDonna of Universal Flow which is a hydrotherapy center 
is going to be offering a discount on colonics. Wow. So if you really want to get clean, Ooh, you know, you can take this as far as you want. <laughs> We're not asking for people to fast because mm -hmm. fasting is, is a little more intense. But um, you can do as much or as little as you want with this program. You can just do the smoothies or you can have a smoothie a day and a soup or just have a smoothie and a salad. But we're not asking you to just, you know, forego food altogether. Mm -hmm. So it should be it should be doable mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully refreshing right. for everybody. This sounds fabulous. Yeah. And you know, here we talk about elevation and expansion. So trying something new, if this is something new to you, this is going to be fabulous. They say they're going to take it step by step by step and not expect you to take huge steps. So mm -hmm. um, in talking about smoothies and juices and soups, that's going to be fabulous because those are very... Uh, water intensive mm -hmm. dishes or you know and so they're very much easier to digest and I'm telling you Herbal Tom is that what we call Herbal him? Tom. Oh, I've met him a number of times yeah. he's a fabulous person and really so into understanding how the body works and therefore how to feed and fuel the body we all need to understand that because we're talking this is 2016 baby right we're talking about living that ultimate lifestyle ultimate health having ultimate health and Tom is an expert on a lot of superfoods and super nutrients um, that you can add to your diet to to optimize your health mm -hmm. uh, another thing that we're going to be offering is um, a discounted uh, special detoxifying yoga class Ooh. the day after the workshop I teach a class at Crenshaw Yoga and Dance on Sunday nights at 630 so the following day the workshops on Saturday that Sunday there'll be a special yoga class it'll be only five dollars for people who participated in the workshop wonderful yeah. wonderful now we didn't mention did you want to mention the price for the uh, the detox session on Saturday it's free Oh, that's the price. Did you, did you, you all up? hear that? F R E E <laughs> free. There is no excuse that you should not have an overflowing crowd there because we all know that's we right. need to elevate, educate ourselves, not just for ourselves, but take this to your family. So even if you can't get somebody else to come with you, but drag somebody there. Totally. It's two mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't embark on the cleanse this Saturday, right. you'll learn how to do a cleanse Excellent. when Excellent. you have, when it's convenient for you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's definitely worth spending that two hours and learning about products that you can use and foods that you can eat right. that will help keep your system running in a clean way. <laughs> Clean inside, yeah. green inside. And also, one thing we should also mention, mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing a cleanse, um, it's best to be in a mindset of a cleanse. You so you want Very to, um, you know, do your activities or curtail, you know, certain activities that get you stressed out as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Give yourself more time to rest and meditate. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing a cleanse, you know, you're, you're thinking of the whole system, the whole organism. You're not just a body. You're a soul. Right. And so that soul has to be, uh, you know, in, on, in line with the program that the body is doing as well. Right. So give yourself space and time to think about it, to rest, and to acknowledge the changes that are happening. Right. Yes, I do a cleanse. Uh, my... Uh, my objective is to do it four times a year. Sometimes I don't do it four, mm -hmm. but I think about sunshine and I think about feeling better and I think about how I'm honoring this temple, right? Mm -hmm. We call it a temple and then you want to treat it like a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, on my Raw Vegan uh, Soul Food Facebook page, I've been putting up some things to get people to understand that we have got to also believe this. Plan how you're going to age. Mm. Plan, uh, yeah, right. You only hear planning when you talk about a vacation or planning when you talk about right. your finances. How about how you're going to plan to age? Hmm. And that makes a big difference in how you do age, right? You think about, oh, I don't, I don't Most need to exercise. Most people want to plan not to. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, hope well, not. They just well hope you know not what? <laughs> the, the days and the minutes and the hours and the years keep going, right? So you can either do that feeling great, looking great, or not, right? Mm -hmm. So things like doing the yoga, things about doing uh, cleansing or detoxing regularly, 
those are ways where we invest in making sure that we stay our best and feel our best. And that's really what it's about, about feeling good all the time. That's right. Yeah. So I want to also, let's put up um, another slide about detoxing because this is really, really important. And I'll tell you how the universe works. I was going to cover this topic on this day anyway. And Bonnie contacts me to really? say that, that they're doing this thing and, and this wonderful community center. And I was like, yeah, come on over. Of course. Well, of course, you know, I wanted Bonnie to come on the show anyway. But let's take an, uh, a look at uh, so we can talk a little bit more about detoxing because there's a lot of myths and, and people do things and they don't do it the right way. No, let's go back one. Okay, here. So the old idea when de with detoxing was to, you know, just, hey, fast. Especially if people weren't feeling well, they thought, oh, well, you know, let me go on a so many days fast mm. or week or whatever. Uh, not a good time to do it. If you're not feeling well, you may be too weak or you may, ha be, you may have something in your system that you need to let your body go on and deal with mm -hmm. before you go to do a detox. Because believe it or not, you need certain nutrients. You need to be built up to a certain place because remember, you're going to be detoxing all those trillions of cells, right? So all this waste is going to be leaving those cells, leaving those organs. You need energy. You need to be in pretty good health for that, um, for that to happen, to happen in a way that it doesn't knock you down, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and I love so much that you mentioned the fact that it's very important to have the right attitude. You've got to have the right attitude, right? Some people sit around and not feeling well. Oh, I'm so sick. I'm so sick. How about saying I'm healing? Huh, totally different energy, right? And some of these uh, toxins that are leaving your body affect your consciousness. Mm, you know there. how you, you, start to, you start to detox and you just get this little voice in your mind, like, cake, cake, I want cakes, I want cupcakes. You know, and it's uh -huh. like, you know, the, the, the sugar or the yeast or mm -hmm. whatever is in there that needs the sugar has a way of contacting your consciousness to get what it needs. There you go. So there's a process that, that you're going through where you're letting go of stuff where you may have to deal with emotional things mm -hmm. and, and these cravings that come up. That's right. That's right. We want to be on the nutrition train and not the anti-nutrition train. So let's learn how to let it go. So your environment, too. Like you say, I, I love again that you mentioned, don't be trying to deal with the most stressful things in your life at the time that you're trying to detox because that's that's mm -mm, right. no, that's not going to help you be able to do this successfully. So uh, let's see, mercury. I mentioned mercury. So what's the best way to get you know move along and try to work on getting rid of these toxins? We'll go to the next slide. Okay, so. As you can see from this list, and this is an excerpt from an article uh, by Dr. Mercola, Mercola, I think that's how you pronounce his name. We'll make sure to show the link before we're done. But you'll see they actually have uh, detox tools as one of the last things on the list, right? So there's a lot of other things, because we don't detox every day. We don't go through a detox program. So there's other things that you need to be making sure that you're doing all the time that assist the body in detoxing, because your body has the detox 24-7, right? Mm -hmm. Every cell is making waste. It has to leave the body. It's kind of like how your car. You can't have an exhaust system that works on your car sometimes. Your exhaust system has to work all the time on your car, right? So things like living healthy like joy, having joy and appreciation, like avoiding M EMFs. We were talking about that earlier, the mm -hmm. electromagnetic fields, clean water, uh, healthy food. These are things that you need to do every day, all the time. And then when you do your detox and supplements, you see supplements on there, right? Then when you do your detox, your, your body's in a better place to handle the detox and to make sure that you're successful in doing the detox. Okay, uh, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so why is your, di uh, your diet so important when it comes to detox? And we did a, a program in the community uh, when the Fukushima thing first happened. Yeah. And one of the that's things... That's what I was thinking of when I said radiation. Because radiation. that's still that's blowing over here from Japan. Guess what? It didn't just poof, <coughs> right. be gone. Even after how many years? It's been a few years now. Yeah. So that's, three, that was years. in the ocean water. That's in the, um, uh, in the air. One of the things I was telling people, trying to get folks to understand at that program, is that when you are missing certain minerals, the ones that are not good for you will come in and replace those. So as you can see, for example, 
calcium gets replaced by lead. Ah, mm. Horrible. Calcium gets be replaced by lead. If you don't have enough calcium in your body, if there's lead around in the environment, the body's looking for how to f fulfill that spot where calcium is supposed to be in the body. And lead will get uh, deposited in the body. And again, what they're dealing with in Flint, Michigan, that water that is so tainted with all that lead. Do you know that those children who have become uh, lead laden, you know, lead poisoned, that the lead will deposit in their bones, replacing calcium or places where calcium wasn't, there wasn't enough calcium in the body. So that means when they go to have children later in life, their children that they're going to have will also be affected. And we know that lead is awful for young, young bodies because it will cause brain damage. Mm. Yes. So it's very important that you eat right and you take supplements. Yes, you do need supplements because our, you know, all our great grandparents didn't eat, you know, take supplements. Well, guess what? The air was cleaner. The water was better. Their food was in better condition. And the soil is depleted now. The so soil is depleted. We're not getting in the amount of minerals in our food, even even healthy food. Exactly, even that organics. We used to get. Yeah. Exactly, because you can just give a plant just a few. Um, uh, minerals and it will grow but we need 60 right so when you don't have enough your body re uses other things to replace those uh, missing things look at zinc zinc gets replaced by cadmium that's another very poisonous a certain form of it is very poisonous to the body and look where it, it accumulates your kidneys you need your kidneys <laughs> okay um, Magnesium gets replaced by aluminum, okay? And that, we keep hearing about all harmless, right? Mm -hmm. And so, manganese gets replaced by nickel. That's carcinogenic, okay? So understand that this body, it's strong, it's <clears throat> wonderful, it's the most wonderful machine ever developed on the planet, right? What machine has man built that can repair, its, repair itself? None. But as long as we keep our body healthy, I can cut myself. I can even break a bone, right? As long as I keep giving myself the right nutrients, what's the body going to do? We all can almost sit there and watch it heal, right? Okay, so it's very important that we take care of the body in those ways. All right? Now, I want to tell you, because we're almost out of time, is that I will be speaking to a group called Women in Transition, WIT. I'm so excited. This is a program that helps women who are coming out of... Uh, the, uh, the penitentiary jail, things like that to help get their lives back on track. Awesome. So I'm really excited and I'm, I'll be speaking there. The program is from 11 to 3 this Saturday. Everything's happening this Saturday. Oh, <laughs> At the Crown Plaza Hotel in San Pedro. So please join me if you can. We'd love for you to come and support these women and uh, You've even got still a window to make your program. Is that what time awesome. again? Um, it's at 2 o'clock this Saturday, okay. January 30th, at the Baldwin Hills Public Library, 2906 South La Brea. If you need more information, you can go to the SOLA's website at www.solafoodcoop.com. I'll kind of yes. show it to you yes. here. They've got this beautiful graphic. Can, can you it. see it? Yeah. A little lower. Lower. There you go. Well, the website's on the bottom. Yeah, mm. and the other one? The other one and this is the flyer for the workshop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So on the website, you can find out more information about what a co-op is, how it works. It's basically a store that's owned by the people who shop there. So it's a great concept, and, you know, you do get a patronage dividend when there are profits. We share in the profits of the store. Fantastic. Yeah, so the, the money stays local and enriches our community. Right. Now, the, and the big difference with this particular health food store that we're going to be opening, the co-op, is that, yes, we know there's something else in the community, but the emphasis is not on organic produce. We have a health food store in the community, but the emphasis is not on organic produce. And we want to have a selection, a large selection of organic produce mm -hmm. available to us all the time, right? We do have a few farmer's markets and such, but they don't happen every day of the right. week, right? So I can't wait for the co-op to open. Yeah, yeah, we're looking to open a full-scale store, you know, right. on the lines of Erewhon mm -hmm. or 
or co opportunity, which it's, is a co op in Santa Monica. Right, right. Yeah. And before I forget, I, I need to say there is a donation requested for the program that I'll be speaking in at uh, in San Pedro. It's forty dollars per plate to help support the women. So. Come on now. This is going to be a fabulous program and a fabulous way to help these women get back on their feet. There will be I'll be speaking, there'll be other vendors, other other things going on. I'm excited. I am so excited because remember, to serve is to fulfill your life by helping to fulfill mm -hmm. someone else's. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's the best feeling in the world. All right. Thank you so much, Bonnie, for Thank coming. You. And you know we'll me. have her back. She's going to talk See about Saturday. the yoga. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure that I try and get to See there one of sometime. us Saturday. Yes. <laughs> so thank you. We love you. See you soon. Please watch this show over again because we've got great information here for you to elevate and expand. And we want to thank our sponsor again, All in One Press Kit. Go to that website. Social media is where it's at. We want to show you and help you make the best of it. Okay? Love you. Take care of yourself. Peace and blessings. <laughs>